Now students, the next experiment which we are going to perform is to study some simple tests of carbohydrates. For this purpose, we will be taking the solution of glucose and we will be performing these three tests. The first one is concentrated sulfuric acid test. The second is tolerance reagent test and the third is failing solution test. Here it is glucose solution. This is tolerance reagent, failing solution number one, failing solution number two and this is the glucose whose solution has already been prepared. Let's perform the test. Now take some amount of the glucose solution. Now add concentrated sulfuric acid slowly very carefully drop by drop now see straights the blackening of the solution occurs this confirms the presence of glucose Now let's perform the second test, tolerance reagent test. Again take some quantity of the glucose solution, add freshly prepared tolerance reagent solution which acts as a mild oxidizing agent. Now keep this test tube in a boiling water bath for about 5 to 10 minutes. Is there any question streams regarding what would be the observation of this test after keeping the test tube in a boiling water bath? Let me tell you after 5 or 10 minutes you will find metallic silver that is the silver mirror formation along the sides of a test tube again confirming the presence of glucose. Now I will take off this test tube from the boiling water bath. Now students see it is a beautiful silver mirror formation again confirming the presence of glucose. Let's take again some quantity of the glucose solution, add about 1 ml of the failing solution A. What is failing solution? Failing solution A is an aqueous solution of copper sulphate. Also add 1 ml of failing solution B and keep the test tube again in a water bath for about 2 minutes. After 2 minutes you will find there would be the red precipitates of cuprous oxide confirming the presence of glucose. Yes, students, you can see yes, it's a beautiful yes, red color yes, resembling with the lid of this bottle. Now let students come to the conclusion point. These three tests confirms the presence of a glucose which is a reducing sugar. This tolerance reagent has been reduced by the glucose into metallic silver whereas failing solution has been reduced to red precipitates of cuprous oxide. Excuse me ma'am, what is the chemistry of tolerance reagent test? Sure, I will explain you. Chemistry of the
So I'll write the equations. Silver nitrate plus is ammonium hydroxide. This will give you silver hydroxide plus is ammonium nitrate. Again, silver hydroxide in the second step will give you silver oxide that is Ag2O and plus is the water. Let's balance this equation to balance it. Take two molecules of silver hydroxide. Now, glucose solution which contains an aldehyde group This is glucose plus is Ag2O from Tollens reagent will form this group aldehydes gets oxidized to carboxylic acid group this is called gluconic acid and plus is this is called silver mirror or metallic silver so it means this silver oxide has been reduced to metallic silver by and reducing sugar glucose. So we'll be taking copper sulfate plus is sodium hydroxide, copper hydroxide and plus is the sodium sulfate to balance it, two molecules of NOH. Now in the second step, copper hydroxide will give you cuparic oxide and plus is the water. Now let us take glucose which is a reducing sugar plus is cupric oxide again Formation of gluconic acid. So in which aldehyde group has changed. Change means oxidized into an acid. acid. And plus is the red precipitates of cuprous oxide conforming the presence of reducing sugar. 